Let us begin then with little Claude Robert getting a bath and told of one he will need later on by Grandma. Claude, Claude Robert, come here. Come up close now. I want to take a good look at you. Something don't look right about you this morning. And I wants to know what it be, said Claude Robert's grandmother. Claude Robert was often put out of the house where he lives by his mother early on some mornings. It would usually be a Saturday or a Sunday. Sometimes it would be on both. He would be given a bowl of oatmeal and a biscuit, then told, go away, go someplace else. This is one of those days. Little Claude Robert had two places that he would go when to go away. And the one was the stockyard and the other was down to his grandmother's house. It really was a shack owned by the company that his grandpa worked for. His grandpa made her shack into a house. This being a Saturday, a stock sale day, the operators wouldn't let him in to roam around inside like he loved to do. He loved looking at and touching all of the animals, especially the new little ones. So, down to Grandma's house, Claude Robert went. Claude Robert went up close to his grandmother as she asked him to do. She began to touch him gently, just like he touched the little new animals. As she did, she made some and clucking and tissing sounds, turning him around as she looked at him. After doing this for a while, she said, Boy, when you done had a bell, you done clumps behind your ears. Look like it they will be there for a long time, for a long while. When your mama bathed you last? My mother doesn't bathe me anymore, grandmother. I bathe myself. I'm a big boy, grandma. I'm not a little boy. I know how to bathe myself, Claude said pausing but for a moment as his grandmother turned him around again. Listen now, listen to me, she said. I was going to do it this morning, but Mama told me to go away, go someplace else. Just go away. So I did. I went down to the stockyard, but the men wouldn't let me inside. I thought about going down to the river and throw some rocks, and then thought about you. So I came down here. His grandmother was a loving, wise woman, and because she was, she knew when and how to ask questions, even to a little grandchild. Is your daddy back home from where he been? Where he done gone to? Yes, ma'am. Yes, Grandma. He came home yesterday afternoon, answered little Claude Robin, expecting some more questions, but he got none. Boy, oh, she says, you need a bath and a little scrubbing in it. So you go get some water at that bucket now. We heat it up and I'm going to wash you in my wash tub. And so they, she did. As his grandmother bathed him, she talked to little Claude Robert. Some of it was, you skips your elbows, I see. And your ills and your knees. You keep that up and you be two or three colors. <laughs> she smiled and chuckled as she said that. She had large hands. Claude Robert noticed that, but had never asked why or how they got that way. One day he would ask her. They were big. Oh, but they were gentle. More gentle than his mother's. He knew that and felt it. It was good to be bathed by Grandma, even though he was old enough to do both himself. He was old enough to bathe himself. It felt good, good and clean. After she had dried him off, she pointed to the bath water. 
it was dirty, <laughs> dirtier than he thought it would have been. As his grandmother was bathing him, off she said, Claude Robert, it'd be good to be bathed by us another sometime. And there'll be a time when your insides need a good washing. And that'd be a few years down the road for you. But everybody needs to have that inside who cleans. For as you grow, the insides get dirty. Like the water be now. If it don't get washed, the poorest and the things know they two, three color. And they be on the inside. I do it that myself sometime when I see things and hear some too that make me feel dirty inside. I go someplace and seek the Holy Spirit and ask him to wash my inside. Wash my mind and all the parts that I can't see. And he do this for me. I'll be just like you do. Clean. Now, huh? you think on this. When I be telling you now, you think you learned to remember. You hear, boy? Claude Robert piped up. Yes, grandmother. Yes, yes, grandma. I will think on what you have told me and learn how to remember. Thank you for bathing me, grandma. Thank you. It makes me feel so good. Oh, thank you. As he started out of the door to get dirty again, she stopped him with these words. Claude Robert, when a person done had a bath, they put on clean clothes. You go back to your house and put it on something now. Did you do that with your mama say now? You did go someplace else, you hear? You do that again now. Yes, ma'am. Yes, grandmother. I know how to sneak in and out of the house without mother ever knowing it. Bye, Grandma. Bye, said Claude Robert. Grandma, that is Claude Robert's grandma, knew that she had been told what she didn't need to know. She decided to not remember it, that part about sneaking in and out. The end.